Hello everyone, it is Alric from App Play here, and today we're going to be playing Does Not Commute, the latest game by the developers of Smash Hit. Now, since Smash Hit was such an amazing game, I decided to hop right into this and show you some Let's Plays on this channel. Let me know what your opinions are in the comment section below, and let's get started. Alright, so we're going to start it up here, start with the 60 second timer. Alright, so dentist Charles Schneider leaves his house and heads to his clinic on Glower Boulevard. Alright, let's go with... Uh, Charles Schneider here. So we have to turn around, go through that. Oh, oh, oh. There we go, right to the exit. Perfect, perfect. All right, so now postwoman Betty is very efficient. So she always has time to stop and see Mr. Beck. All right, interesting enough. Let's uh, send her around. And oh, oh, look at that. It's the other car at the same time. So it looks like the cars stack on top of each other. So as, you know, whatever you did with the other car, you'll have to be interacting with on this next run, which is definitely very interesting and unique mechanic. All right, so Mrs. Mayfield is late to the office. Her husband kept uh, her with his constant talk of Yorkshire Terriers this morning. So interesting backstories. I like the, the inclusion of backstories on some of these characters. All right, let's start her up and see if we can avoid some of these other cars that we had here. Oh, go around, perfect, going out and perfect run. Awesome, but we're gonna have to do 13 of these, so it's gonna get pretty challenging. All right, so I want to go through that secret path, collect that 10 second boost, and uh, so Mrs. Beck is on her way back home. She forgot her key card to the office. How clumsy. Silly Mrs. Beck, always doing that. All right, so we're gonna start this off. Turn around, collect that 10 seconds, and go in. Oh, no, ow! Ah, ah, tree, car, oh God. All right, all right, all right. We wasted a little bit of time there, but not too much. Ms. Beck is clumsy after all, so, so that's why she crashed into the tree. All right, uh, the ambulance is on its way back to the Beck's house, and there's been an accident. Oh, no. Clumsy Mrs. Beck again. All right, so let's uh, operate this ambulance here, and uh, okay, 10 seconds, and go through, go through, go through. Oh, perfect. All right, we missed the other car just in time. So the ice cream man Hernandez is on his way to the general store to buy rodent side. All right, hopefully he's using that for rodents. I hope. All right, so let's collect that 10 seconds, avoid the other cars, going around the rotary circle, going off here and going right back up to the exit. Perfect run. We still have 56.3 seconds. So advertiser Mr. Baker drives to work whispering the same slogan to himself every morning, less emotions, more promotions. A great uh, motto to live by Mr. Baker. Now let's see if we can get you to the other side without crashing into these bajillion other cars that we have running at the same time. All right, so we're gonna have to turn around here. I like how the, the cars actually seem to react differently based on the size um, and the speed of the cars, which is very interesting. It adds another element to the game, uh, something that, you know, Smash Hit, uh, the developers of Smash Hit, uh, I would not put it past them to do something like that. So I, I think that's amazing. All right, so school bus driver Miss Santiago thinks the best thing about her kids being loud is that no one can hear you cry. Oh, poor Miss Santiago. All right, I, I like the crazy backstories. It definitely adds a comedic element, a lighthearted element to the game. All right, so let's go in here, drive the school bus. Gotta be careful, because it makes wide turns. Oh no, there we go, there we go, Miss Santiago. Look through your tears, drive that bus to safety. All right, so leisure driver and binocular owner, Mr. Turner knows a little bit about everyone in the neighborhood. Today he learned how enthusiastic Mr. Beck is about his leopard patterned underwear. All right, Mr. Turner, we will not judge you. We will just try and get you from point A to point B. Now, I think this is a great time to test out the turbo function. So let's see if we can we can do it with a little extra turbo. We are going fast. Oh, God. Oh, no. Oh, school bus. Oh, no, Mr. Turner. Go faster. All right, Mr. Turner kind of messed us up there a little bit. But uh, it is what it is. We, we still have 26 seconds exactly left on the clock. All right, garbage man Dwayne has been collecting the garbage in his neighborhood for quite some time. Uh, interesting picture there as well. Three years ago, he found a crumpled photo of Miss Beck in a trash can. He has kept it in his wallet ever since. All right, garbage man Dwayne, we will not judge. We will just try to get you to point from point A to point B. So, turbo didn't really work that well last time and I'm behind a car, so I'm gonna wait a second to use turbo again. All right, we are gonna collect this 10 seconds because we need it. Going around the rotary circle, going out and going up through. Oh, oh, just barely missed that car. Perfect. 
perfect. The controls do get a little uh, getting used to, so uh, hopefully I'll get used to them a little more later. All right, so we're gonna try and go for two ten seconds. Now what I want to do is avoid that school bus. We gotta be very careful. So everyone thinks the man driving this car is Mr. Lee, but Mr. Lee is long gone. Lord knows who this man is, but he looks and talks like Mr. Lee, and that's good enough for most people. All right, so we have an impersonator in our midst, but like I said, I am just the driver. I do not judge. I get you from point A to point B, so let's, uh, let's see if we can avoid some of these other cars. I definitely think that school bus is gonna be a big problem for us, um, but we'll see, we'll see. All right, so going around, 10 seconds, perfect. School bus is not a problem, another 10 seconds. Awesome, all right, so we are up to 41.1 seconds and we only have two left. So whittled, widowed uh, Mrs. Clemens is certain that the ghost of her husband has possessed a car. It's probably me, to be quite honest. <laughs> like every time on this day of the week, she's off to see an expert in the matter. So if I am kind of overseeing everything and driving cars, am I the ghost? I do not know. But hopefully we learn that a little bit more in the backstory. All right, so now I gotta go around the rotary circle again. There are a lot of cars going in here, so we're gonna try and avoid them and get get to the next destination. Should I use Turbo Boost? I think I'm gonna use Turbo Boost because I think I can go around the back side uh, of the rotary circle. So we're gonna use Turbo. Come on, come on, come on. Here we go, here we go. Oh, I should've just gone right through. Oh no, no, <laughs> into the lake. <laughs> right into the lake. I don't know how how we can salvage that. It, yes, rewind this car. Rewind. Hit rewind. No, it costs one second. Okay, well, one second is not as bad <laughs> as the alternative, like, dead uh, Mrs. Clemens, you know. Hopefully, they don't have any kids. All right, let's do this again. Turbo's still on, people. Turbo is still on. All right, we're going around, going through, going through. No! Back into the water. All right, so Turbo is very dangerous. All right, rewind, rewind. Minus one second again. We will achieve this. All right, so I think the trick is just not to make too wide a turn here. And perfect, perfect. All right, you're all set, Mrs. Clemens. All right, Julia makes her way uh, to work in the city. She doesn't particularly enjoy it. In fact, she's been thinking about heading back home to call in sick. All right, Julia, well, we'll see if we can get you to your destination and collect even more Time tokens here, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, 20 seconds, awesome. Perfect, all right, so I'm not gonna try turbo boost because since the other car was turbo boost, I don't wanna be matching that speed, even though the cards have separate speeds as it is. So let's see if we can go in here. Come on, we want all of those 20 seconds. No, no, there, perfect. All right, we got all the 20 seconds, checkpoint saved. All right, so as Julia got closer to the office, she decided to skip work. Oh, Julia, come on. And, and now she's on her way to the closest Buy More Mall to buy fireworks, um, methylated spirits, and a hammer drill. All right, so going to the Buy More. Um, <laughs> reminds me of the TV show Chuck. All right, so let's see if we can get over there. This is the first car, so it should be pretty easy. I don't want to risk turbo boost right now. Now, one thing I want to point out is look at these graphics. I love the graphics. It's very simplistic, but it's a very challenging and entertaining game because of all of the different people. Now, hopefully when you replay the game, they have different backstories, but I'm not quite sure if that's the case. All right, so let's see if we can get Julia from point A to point B. All right, come on, Julia, we can do this. Oh, look at the skyscrapers and how they move. I really like the 3D uh, aspect of this game and just hit a light post um, oh God, come on, Julia, no. Don't do this to me. All right, perfect. So now, Mr. Olsen recently acquired the moped. All right, so we have a different uh, different car type thing, or not car, um, automated vehicle. So we have a moped in here as well, so hopefully he doesn't crash into something because you could do some serious damage. Uh, on which he rides to see his spiritual advisor. Interesting. And the very same spiritual advisor sold him the moped. Now, the vehicle, uh, consecration, consecra consecration, yeah, was a very difficult and expensive process. All right, interesting. So I think he's getting a little bit scammed, but let's just see what we can do. All right, no, 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 no! Oh, oh God. So that's not good. All right, we're, we're re rewinding, 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 don't worry. All right, Mr. Olsen, we will get you there safely, don't worry. Gotta go around here, avoiding the water. Perfect. All right. 
There we go. A little bit of skidding, but that is what it is. <laughs> All right, inventor and designer Miss Fitzpatrick is on her way to work. Um, Vet Intelligence Incorporated. She has just finished a very interesting prototype for an anonymous client. All right, so we definitely want to get her over to work so that she can keep making this world a better place. All right, we are going to get that 10 second booster, hopefully. Come on, go for the 10 second booster. There we go, all right. We gotta be very careful around here because the posts are annoying and then you could fall into the water. Just take our little shortcut and exit. There we go, there we go. All right, this car doesn't have a driver. Isn't that strange? That is very strange. Almost as strange as someone controlling all of these cars from above. All right, we'll see what we can do. No! Oh! I like how they honk at me. Oh God. <laughs> All right, we're rewinding. We're rewinding this one. All right, turbo boost. Let's do it. Go for the gusto, turbo boost. All right, that way we're in front of this car even when we crap. Oh. We're going back, we're going back, we're going back. Still turbo boost, we can do it. All right, I think we're gonna go through here. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh no. Once you get a lot of cars in here, it really starts to pile up. I think we're gonna rewind one more time because I think I can do it a little bit better this time. Right. There we go. The drifting is something you really have to watch out for, especially with these cars going all over the place. Oh man. Invisible car, come on, don't fail me now. All right, we're gonna go around up here, up here. There we go. Going up and over the bridge. And go around. Here, we will make it, we will make it. I'm not gonna rewind again because we are losing too many seconds as it is. All right, Mr. Mayfield is especially happy today. He's heading to the Fantasy Sweet Store. <laughs> they finally have the adult size uh, Yorkshire Terrier suit back in stock. All right, Ms. Mr. Mayfield, we will not judge you even with your uh, interesting mustache. All right, we will hop into this car and uh, see if we can avoid <laughs> The moped, which could do us some uh, serious damage. All right, I think we're gonna go through here so we don't have to, oh no, no! Okay, all right. Sorry, Mr. Mayfield. All right, automatically rewinds when you die. All right, so let's try this again. Oh, oh no, no. All right, your car's gonna be wrecked, but you will still make it. We'll just uh, pick up that 10 seconds on the way. All right, we're, we're, we're gonna rewind. All right, let's do it again. You can do it. All right, we will still try and pick up that 10 sec. No, no. All right, rewind again. All right. Oh, I keep turning too soon. I like how the, the cars have different, um, you know, amounts of speed and they have different turning uh, abilities, different drift uh, capabilities or whatever. Uh, well, actually, we're, we're gonna go back one more time. All right, you could do it, Mr. Mayfield. Spin around there. And oh, you just did like a double barrel roll, but you, you can still make it. Get to your store, avoid that car. And there we go, I think we're just gonna keep it that time. All right, so dentist Charles Schneider skipped lunch and went to the library instead. He's heading back to the clinic with his books, Temporal Paradoxes and Retro Causality in Practice. Um, causality in practice. <laughs> don't get upset at me if I'm pronouncing these incorrectly. Uh, I don't know what, de what dentist Charles Schneider reads. All right, so let's get in here. Come on. Ooh, this is gonna be a pretty good run. If we didn't have that other car there, this would've been a good run. We are running out of time, people. We are running out of time. We only have 15.2 seconds left, so I don't know how we're gonna do this. Mrs. Clemens leaves the spiritual advisor with $500 less in her wallet. So it sounds like the spiritual advisor is kind of ripping them off. I'm gonna try and collect this 20 seconds to keep this going as long as possible. I don't know. I will risk turbo boost. We, we will, all right, so we get to turn right away. 20 seconds, come on. All right, I think the, the 20 seconds is definitely worth it. Even though we hit something and we're going a little bit slower, uh, we still have now 24.2 seconds left on the clock. All right, so Mr. Beck takes a taxi home as a recent surgery has uh, prohibited him for, to, from driving a car. All right, so now we are driving the taxi and we have to get over to this uh, other destination. So let's see if we can do that. I think what I wanted, no, I turned too soon. 
I wanted to get that 10 seconds, but I turned too soon. All right. I think we're going to rewind. Still get that 10 seconds, but not turn as soon. Turn right there. Grab that 10 seconds. Hit a bush. And go around and leave. Make our speedy getaway. All right. Traction control. Improved traction. Reduced speed. So this is definitely very important. So the turbo has less traction, more speed. The traction control has improved traction and reduced speed. So this is definitely very helpful. I think this one's a little more helpful later on once you have a lot of cars going in. All right, so pantless driving is a, a one of a kind pleasure, Dr. Trevino thinks to herself as she smiles to the other motorists on her way to a lunch meeting. You know, that actually brings up a question. How do you know if someone's actually wearing pants while they're driving? If you just look over and they're like, I'm gonna be thinking about that now. Thank you to the developers of Smash Hit Mediocre AB. You have now put that into my mind and I'll be thinking about that next time I am driving on the highway. All right, so upgrade unlock, traction control. We might as well give it a try. We're gonna try and collect that 20 seconds to see if we can uh, go through all 15 of these people. We're gonna stop the video whenever we end here. So hopefully we can get as far as possible. All right, one more thing before we go into driving Dr. Trevino to her location, I just wanna let you guys know that we do have a great Let's Play series going on in this channel at play. We have Clash of Clans. We have Boom Beach. We're going to be doing more Does Not Commute videos if you guys like it. We're also going to be doing Dominations videos as well. A lot of great videos on this channel. Leave your suggestions in the comments below. But I think you guys should subscribe because we have a great giveaway option going on right now. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, and we are very close, we've got over 900 right now. When we hit 1,000 subscribers, we're giving out five $10 iTunes gift cards. We hit 2,000 subscribers in a week. We'll give out another $50 iTunes gift card. And if we hit 5,000, we'll give out even another $50 iTunes gift card. So that's $150 worth of gift cards given out right here on this channel from my personal account. This is not sponsored. This is from me, myself, giving back to you guys for subscribing to this great new channel. All right, so be sure to share this with your friends. I appreciate it. I just had to get my plug in here. Let's go right back in and drive uh, Dr. Trevino wearing no pants to her location. All right. Let's go in here. Oh no, I forgot to <laughs> pick the traction option. All right, well, well, we'll see what we can do. All right, I think we're gonna re we're gonna rewind it. We're gonna choose a traction control. All right, here we go. Come on, Dr. Trevino, you can do it. Uh, oh, a lot more control. It's just if that car wasn't there, I wouldn't have to deal with it. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna go back. Do the traction control one more time. I'm gonna try and avoid that other car. Oh no, okay. Oh, oh well, actually, that was actually pretty cool. And we even avoided that car by going up on the curb. All right. Oh no! We went the wrong way. We went the wrong way. Okay, okay, okay. So I gotta turn sooner. All right, so go right on side of that car and turn right here. And I didn't get the 10 seconds. Okay, we are very short on time, people. So I need to get that 20 seconds now and that can keep us going. So I'm gonna be driving the pickup truck I am going to get that 20 seconds. Don't worry. Traction control on. Here we go. Up the bridge. Come on. 20 seconds. Perfect. All right. And we're going to turn around here and get to our destination. I definitely like that traction control. It gives you a lot more control over the car. Now, I know you guys are probably thinking, Alric, you're driving all over the place. It's actually kind of difficult when they're going so fast. And it does depend on the car. Oh no, it's Dwayne again. So garbage man Dwayne often makes time to stop by museums during the day. He finds it inspirational for his own sculptures. He's currently working on one called Miss Beck. All right, so Dwayne, I'm not sure if you have the permission to do that. Actually, you almost certainly don't, but you do have permission to drive from point A to point B. So that's what we'll do for you. All right, so we're gonna be driving around here. Unfortunately, there's nothing else that we can pick up on the way. Uh, in terms of any amount of time booster. So we're gonna be down to 10 seconds on the dot with three left. So we really have to make it here. All right, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go for the 10 seconds later on as opposed to this 10 seconds. I am gonna use traction control. And now we're operating a police car, so no one's gonna hit us, all right? We don't, have, we don't even have to worry about that because we're in a police car. So, <laughs> spoiler alert, I don't think that, that that is true. I think people could hit us or we could hit them. All right, so police officer Johnson checked the license of a very friendly doctor earlier. His cheeks seem a little rosy. All right, so we might be going to arrest a doctor. So let's see. All right, let's go in 
here. Okay, collect that 10 seconds. Perfect. Go around the bush. Oh, avoid those cars. There we go, there we go. And make our quick getaway. We lost 0.1 seconds in that whole car ride, but we only have three left. So hopefully we can make it. Unfortunately, there's no 10 second booster on the way, so I don't know. This might be it, guys. This may be it. But uh, it's been nice knowing you. All right, we're gonna do a turbo boost. We're gonna try and salvage the situation. Turbo boost. So advertiser Mr. Baker is back again. Uh, just had an expensive lunch. Uh, sadly enough, Mr. Baker was born with a severe taste bud disorder, making it impossible for him to smell or taste. Nice and pricey is tasty and spicy, Mr. Baker whispered. All right, so he's got a lot of cool catchphrases and unfortunately he can't taste things, so uh, that is sad for you. I definitely enjoy my food. So. All right, driving back in. There's just so many cars. Yeah, even with the turbo boost. All right, we gotta rewind. Give ourselves another shot. We're down to 8.9 seconds. Can we make it? Who knows? Yes, we're about to make it. There we go with 2.9 seconds left and a 10 second booster right there in our way. We may be able to do this, ladies and gentlemen. We may be able to do this. All right, so I'm gonna pick up that 10 seconds right off the bat. Then I'm gonna head over to our destination. So federal investigator Ben Womack just left the bureau. He's in charge of time and space investigations. It's not an official department yet. Ben is the only person at the bureau who knows about it. All right, so that means he is going on a secret investigation. Now, I definitely like all these backstories that are going on at the same time. It adds a great element to it. It adds a comedic element, an interesting element. I'm pretty sure it's gonna stay the same because I, I did read into this earlier. There is a premium version of this game. Now, the premium version uh, gives you the ability to go back to your checkpoints. Otherwise, I have to restart the whole game over again. So I really hope there is a long span of this game because it is a lot of fun, especially for a free game. I definitely recommend uh, giving it a try. It's available for free, so download it in the link below. All right, let's get started. No, turn too late. No, go back. All right, 1.9 seconds. Can we make it? We're gonna turn right off the bat, collect 10 seconds there, I'm gonna turn around. Turn here, go through, and there we go with 2.9 seconds left on the clock. We need to do ultimate turbo. We need to make it. There are two 20 second boosters. Can we make it from there all the way over to the 20 second boosters without hitting a car? I don't know. This has not been, you know, pre-recorded. I am doing this live. So let's see. I'm gonna hit turbo and we're gonna go. Oh, I forgot to read it, sorry guys. But I don't think we're gonna make it, I'm sorry. Oh, we did not make it, we are out of time. All right, we were very close. We were on the last person. All right, so let me know in the comments section below what you think of Does Not Commute. I'd love to keep playing this game for you guys, but we need to see a lot of likes, a lot of shares, a lot of comments. We really want a lot of interaction with these videos. Like I said, share these video videos with your friends because once we hit a thousand subscribers, we really are giving out five $10 iTunes gift cards to random subscribers. We wanna give out more if we hit some of those higher goals as well. So thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. Share it with your friends, have them subscribe. They could win iTunes gift cards. And uh, the other thing is we have a lot of great content coming out as well. So thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.